Okay. Um, can you give some advice to the entrepreneur who maybe feels like they can't balance uh, both being a mom, being an entrepreneur, you know, they're trying to start their business. They just, they need a bit of motivation, a bit of inspiration. And they feel like maybe this isn't working and maybe this won't work for me. Can you talk to them for a bit? I would say one of the first things that you should do is look into investing in a coach. Hmm. I really just think that we have this mentality that we can do everything ourselves. And if you've never done business, it's like, would you go and open up a shop today if, you, if no one showed you how to do anything? You just, you, it's, it's, everybody needs, I think, a coach at some point. And I think if you're just going to do it, start off at the beginning. You know, do it right from the beginning. Your coach is not going to guarantee you sales. No one guarantees sales. Obviously, this was from Allah. But I would say to have a coach is really, really beneficial. Um, or just get into, um, you know, there's a lot of memberships with sisters and they're very low cost. Mm -hmm. um, get into one of those, you know, and then you'll get to see other sisters in business and see how we all everybody's doing it. So you'll get to see... and. I've seen people from different walks, you know, to the six figure ones, to the ones that are just starting out. And we all have, you'd be shocked. We all have the same issues. We all have the same issues with balancing and burnout and everything. So um, get into those spaces, I would say. Um, and don't have the most huge expectation from the beginning. Don't listen to these gurus online that are telling you you'll make six figures in, in six weeks. No, don't listen to them at all. That's not true. And even if you could, you, those people are single most likely or you know they're men like I said yeah. um, they've got that time you don't have that time so be realistic in your expectations of yourself you know write down your goals what do you want what do you want to achieve and why you're doing what you're doing so that whenever you feel like oh, I can't be bothered to do this anymore you'll go back to your why what is your big why what's the reason and that will give you motivation but really I would say for me what has been really instrumental for me and has kept me going um is being in the spaces with other sisters and um you know being around them online um has really helped me to just you know keep going and I always feel sort of inspired or motivated when you know when I've just come off a coach a group coaching call for example or something like that and I'm like yeah today I know what I'm gonna do so just keep your write down your goals and really I would say as soon as you can really just get into the spaces of other sisters you know be around like-minded sisters because there's going to be people around you as well they're going to tell you what you're doing it's not good or you're going to fail or, but those people have never done business and you yeah. you have to learn you have to understand that you're learning how to do business mm -hmm. you know you, you need to it's a learning curve and you're going to learn so much on the way I would say to you enjoy it mm -hmm. rather than being stressed enjoy it you know, enjoy what you've learned. Enjoy the mistakes because those mistakes, you're learning from them. You know, if you didn't make those mistakes, you wouldn't know a lot of things. So um, don't look at them as mistakes. Just look at them as learning curves, inshallah. Inshallah. I love it. 